I have this really strong sense that one day I'm going to have to answer to my kids, uh, you know, what did we do, uh, you know, whether, whether or not we managed to address climate change, they're going to ask me, what was your role? The huge requirement for energy efficiency comes from the building sector and if we don't fix it along with land use and renewable energy we're going to be in big trouble so it's an enormous project to be tackled. People have a very direct impact from poorly insulated homes uh, for example 20 percent of people in France more or less uh, feel like they are cold in their homes in the winter. Engaging locally is the key thing, taking local communities uh, with us. We have 32 local authorities in Scotland. The key thing is engaging them to make sure that they have their own climate and energy efficiency plans. If we do that, I think we're well on our way to making progress. We need to give every house uh, in Europe a sort of roadmap uh, from where they are now and where they stand now and where they need to go in by 2050. Today we have a renovation rate around 1% in our existing building stack and we need to, to go up on 3%. 80% of all existing buildings are still here in 2050 and we use 40% of our energy in our buildings. So there's a lot of, of space here to save and, and use our energy much more efficient. And we have now given uh, the member countries a toolbox. Now we, we really need to get the tools on the table. The tools that are crucial for the energy renovation challenge are indeed the long-term renovation strategies, which will lead member states to plan how they transform their building stock to nearly zero energy standards by 2050, financing instruments which will bring more fresh and larger sums of money into the energy renovation market, and getting mechanisms for companies to make a unified offer into the market and other mechanisms that allow for upscaling of uh, the re energy renovation here in Europe. By sharing best practice, by talking to one another, by looking at legislation versus uh, uh, other means information, we hopefully can find a way of doing this because we've got to act quickly, that's for sure. We got a commitment from member states on the EPPD and uh, now it's very, very important that this legislation are implemented in uh, the member countries. By promoting energy efficiency, by cutting emissions, by lowering energy use, frankly that puts more pennies in people's pocket. It means more money for the individual. And that's really important in Scotland for fuel poor households. That's something we're trying to tackle at the moment through legislation. Politicians must take their own medicine. We have a lot of public buildings all over Europe who are very energy inefficient and therefore we have to start with our schools, our kindergarten, hospitals etc. and show people this is a good business. In the long term this will uh, benefit also contractors, uh, people that don't have jobs that could uh, have employment in this, uh, this area. And also, very important, it reduces energy poverty if you do it right. What I think we need is, is a cultural shift, and that's going to take leadership. So I think, for me, leadership is the tool that's missing. We need politicians who will, will be bold in, in not, just, uh, not just following the, the public discourse, but actually leading the discourse. And we need businesses who will step up and take responsibility for their impacts. We need a mix of tools. I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all solution here. Um, I think we need regulation in key areas. I think we need the right financing instruments, which we spoke about today. I think we've ultimately got to raise the awareness of people to make it clear to them why renovation, why promoting energy efficiency is just so important and by doing that what sort of impact they can make. Who's doing what? How can we learn from each other? All those, all those, those, those learnings need to be shared because we need this to be done at scale soon and that's obviously an exciting opportunity.